you've done this, you've won this, so you know that you know just because the first round is a struggle that you know in a, in, in a few weeks you could be celebrating another championship. I mean, what does that experience help you with, and, and what do you get out of? Yeah, I would say this is probably my worst first round that I've had, but but I've had some that will rival it, and I've had races in the playoffs that will rival this one. So, uh, you know, I think the main thing is keeping everybody their heads up and, and their heads in the game for the most part. Um, just because we had a couple bad races doesn't mean nothing's wrong. Uh, we've got a chance now that everything resets and we can go to some, some racetracks that are different, Talladega, Bristol, like some unique animals that maybe – Maybe we'll have some better performances at, and like you said, we could we could potentially be at Phoenix hoisting the trophy. So we just got to keep everybody focused, motivated. <laughs> uh, with everything, yo. oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, with everything that went wrong today, is this like the mo happiest you've been to finish 25th <laughs> and still make it? Oh uh, no, I'm still really mad. I mean, <laughs> the expectation is to advance the next round, right? So just because we met an expectation doesn't really mean we should be celebrating. So the way that we met that expectation was really bad. So we've got some homework to do. Um, you know, I've got to clean up some mistakes on my side, and then for sure, I'm um, just getting a little more comfortable and more speed in the truck. Um, you know, I was, at least I was amazed at some of the moves some guys were able to make tonight, like the versatility from top to bottom. So we'll work on that a little bit, and like I said, we'll keep our heads in the game here because it's still it's only four races, but that's a lot of racing left. You mentioned that this not being an ideal round of 10 for you, uh, keeping the team's head in the game, morale staying up. Um, what do you feel needs to be improved upon to have a successful round of eight? Well, uh, the last two races, uh, there was mistakes by me. So let's just start with Ben. You know, let's no mistakes here. Uh, and then apart from that, we struggled on our short track program a bit this year. So um, there's some worries with Bristol and some of the stuff that might translate over, but um, for the most part, I think we need to go there with a totally different package and approach it differently than stuff that we have in the past. So we'll work on that, but yeah, cleaning up some mistakes, trying to find more speed, big tracks like this, a little more comfort um, or stability, I guess I should say, so I'm not stalling on the wheel, but um, yeah, all in all, I mean, it was still an amazing effort by the team, right? Like they did a lot of things. I mean, they did everything right on their side, so um, they've got nothing to droop their heads about. You know, we're still in the next round, so they just need to stay happy, keep on doing what they're doing, and then I'll uh, I'll figure my side out. So. And then in uh, the 98 team won Bristol last year. How much would that be of help in terms of, like, you know, sharing notes with the team, getting ready, you know, for everyone that's still in the uh, final round? Yeah, no, well, I think that's a good point. The 98 is always different. Like, they science stuff out differently than the rest of the team. So pulling off their notes would for sure be a different package than what we typically run. So I think that's the smartest thing to do for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Hey everyone, Zane Smith, driver number 38.4 for Front Row Motorsports. Be sure to subscribe to Front Stretch on YouTube.